back to the channel. My name is Ronaldo Moore with PPG, and if you are new to the channel, come on, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when these heaters are dropping. Today's topic is all about mechanical. Top five mechanical co-violations. These violations that I come across every single week, <laughs> day out. So I decided to put together a top five minutes. So sit back, relax, and I'll see you again on the next one. All right, and back with some more violations. That is the dryer exhaust duct that's terminating on the exterior. You cannot have that plastic screen at the, the end of the termination point. That is a cold issue. All right, we're back with some more cold violations. Uh, what you are looking at is a kitchen, new kitchen exhaust hood right up under a new gas stove there. This is for my mechanical contractors. Uh, this particular kitchen exhaust hood is ready at about 590 CFM. Code says anything over 400 CFM requires makeup air. So you have to bring in as much as you exhaust. So think about that when you, you guys are installing these, these huge commercial size kitchen exhaust hoods. Um, definitely talk it over with the, with the builder or the homeowner. Uh, this, this house is a renovation. They're renovating the kitchen. You can see right here. Um, but you just have to factor in that the CFM, everything on 400 CFM, you have to bring in makeup air. You have to bring in as much as you exhaust. This is for my mechanical contractors. What you are looking at is a kitchen exhaust hood with a, appears to be a six or eight inch flex duct. That is a no-no. Uh, we need a hard pipe, hard, hard duct, hard pipe duct, no flex. Okay, I see, I still see a lot of this one. I still see way too many. Um, locking caps are required for, for the refrigerant lines on the AC condenser. Right now, he's got these plastic screw-on type. You can't have those anymore. They got to be locking caps now. Back doing more cold violations. I'm here at a new house doing a mechanical final. And what you're looking at is a bathroom exhaust going out at a soffit vent. Um, that's definitely a no-no because what you're having, that vented soffit is bringing air into the attic. Then you have the bathroom exhaust coming out and that tends to get mixed in with the air that's going back up into the attic. So you would want to either take that out at the side of the house like they did there or run it up through the roof. 